Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope your summer is off to a great start. I know mine is. And so what we're going to be doing today, it's Thursday. So again, story time with Miss Nutra at the Winfield Public Library. She is reading a book today about pigs. And so if you've already seen that video, then you came over here because you already watched it and you're ready for a pig art project. And if you haven't and you don't remember, you didn't tune in on Tuesday, after you're done with our pig craft, you can go ahead and take a listen to Miss Nucha and hear her cute story about a pig. So what we're going to do today, we're going to learn how to draw two different types of pig. We're going to do one, which is one of my favorite styles, which is kawaii, which is a Japanese, like it means cute. So we're going to do a really cute pig and then we're going to do a little bit more realistic cartoon pig. So let's get started. So remember, the first thing you should do is draw it in pencil. In case you make a mistake, you can erase it. I'll be drawing in a marker, that way you guys can see it really nice and clearly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the shape of the head and we're gonna have it be a little bit pointed. So it's gonna curve, come up a little bit to a point or like a steep hill and come back down in the curve. Now we're going to draw its snout, and that's going to go in between these two lines, and that's going to be an oval. Now remember, if your first one doesn't come out good, that's okay. We have a chance to do it again. And we're going to put two ovals inside as the nostrils. Now remember, if you did make a mistake, I could just go back, make my line thicker, make it seem intentional. Like, I didn't like how that oval turned out. So I'll just make it seem purposeful. There we go, now I'm a little bit happier with it. And I'll go back to the face, give that a big outline too, that way it kind of fits in with the style. So now I have my head shape. Now we're gonna draw the ears. The ears are gonna be on the sides of the head, not directly right on top, but on the sides. And they're gonna come up, be a little pointed, and come back down. And we want them to be fairly similar, fairly similar size, but they don't have to be perfect because normally our ears aren't exactly the same or pig's ears aren't exactly the same. Filling that in with a kind of oval shape. And now we can add its eyes and they'll be right here in the center. Two little ovals. We can give them two lines for eyebrows. Give them a little smile here. Two little lines with a C. And now we're gonna come in for the body. So we're gonna draw its legs first, actually, its front legs. And they're gonna be, you're gonna leave about mm, a half inch of space, slightly curved, straight line, slightly curved, don't go as high. Leave a little space in between, slightly curved, straight line slightly curved and you want those to be about equal. Now we can come in with our body coming from its head to its legs and curving. Again, like the letter C, curving. Now this is where you can make your pig really fat if you want to bring that line out. And now we'll connect its belly. And we'll draw its front feet first. Just has a little wobble in the bottom. This feet here, you can't see all of it. They hit the front feet. You can give it that little squiggle tail. That's just a curly Q line that we're really familiar with. And now we can simply add color. Now I had that snout line and that headline so big. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this really thick as well to make it seem like that's my style because sometimes when you make a mistake, it's about having to learn how to fix that mistake. It's not about crumpling up your paper and giving up. It's about how can you make it seem like it's not a mistake or make it so you're happy with it. That's really what matters the most is are you okay with how it's looking? Because you're the artist, you get to decide, do you like how it looks? Are you happy with it? So if I just go ahead and thicken out some of these lines, I think I'm 
going to be happy with how it looks. Now, if you did this in pencil, you don't have to worry so much about making mistakes because that's the beauty of a pencil. You get to erase it. I'm just smoothing out some of my lines. Oh, I forgot to add me. I'll just color the eyes in black to kind of fit with this little like, dark lined, thick lined theme. I'll color his feet in black. But again, you don't have to. You could do this different color. You could go ahead with watercolor. That's up to you. So there's my first little pig. Now I'm gonna do a cute little kawaii pig. So for this one, we can start by sketching out a circle. So I do wanna grab a pencil for this one. So I can't find a pencil, but I can find a color pencil. So we're gonna sketch out a little circle first. And now we're gonna go ahead and bring those lines down straight and flat because we're making a kind of fat little piggy. So we want it to be like he's melting into the ground. So once we have that curved line and straight down here, we can add its first ear, which will be mostly round, have a little bit of a point. And our second one is laying on the ground because he is flopped over on his side in the mud. So now I'll go through and I'll make those final marks here. So we got our ear on top of its body, its body coming down plop into the earth because he's just straight up chilling in the mud. This ear is laying in the mud. Now we can go ahead and do its snout. And it's gonna be right here, same thing, same oval. Two little oval eyes, but we're gonna spread them out decently far. Cause it's gonna look a little cuter that way. The nostrils, two little ovals, and the bottom of its mouth. Now I can go ahead and do this in my little marker. And remember, just be confident with your marks. You can always correct it later. Now I'm going to take the number three and I'm going to draw one three backwards. And if you need to, you can rotate your paper if you can't quite get that. And we're going to draw a little feet. The first one's going to be right here on the ground. The other one's just hanging out here like he's on his side. And our squiggly little tail. And now we could go ahead and color him in. He can be pink or since I used a brown color pencil, I'm just gonna keep going with that brown and I can give his snout a little pink tinge. There we go, my two versions of a pig. So I hope you had fun today learning how to draw the pig in two different ways. Hopefully you learned something new. And remember, if you haven't done so already, go listen to the story time by my mom, the amazing Miss Nuja, and take a listen to that book. And remember, if you like the video, give it a like little thumbs up action. Drop a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see in the future. What kind of story and craft would you like to see for next week? So remember, I'm doing videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Subscribe so you never forget. All right. Bye.